Hello and welcome. Today we've got this DeWalt battery, this um, oven ready DeWalt battery. For some reason it's wrapped in silver, uh, the reasons of which I do not know, I can only speculate upon. Anyway, um, I've been given this to fix and I'm going to get into it and see what's wrong with it. The first test as always is a voltage check. Um, as you can see this is thrown out 2.6 volts which for an 18 volt battery is not that much or 20 volt max when that battery is fully charged it should be thrown out about 20 volts when it's in use it's probably 18 volts you know it's a nominal thing but really the reading you should be getting out the top to get a chargeable battery is between 17 and 20 so to go any further what we have to do is open this battery and see what is going on we can get into the screws that is that's the bad the reasons this is wrapped in silver are completely mysterious to me and have not been explained to me as of yet um, if I find out I'll let you know but in the meantime we'll just find out what's wrong with it There we are, we're in. Oh, this is interesting. Um, yeah, this is quite interesting. Um, there's some work has already been undertaken within this one. I can see that this has been worked at before. Because you never see a blue wire inside the DeWalt battery. It's a, a genuine DeWalt circuit board. However, you never see a blue wire, it's usually a black wire. And that looks like original red wire um, and if you look at the uh, battery indicator there's a little bit of heat shrink in there somebody's somebody's done a bit of solder in there and they're heavier wires than would usually be in the battery indicator as uh, standard and you can see there's um, four banks of like a bluey purpley cell and then there's red cells at the end so somebody's been here before, it's fair to say. Um, not to judge. I get involved in quite a lot of battery repair myself, so I don't know. There's a wee bit of solder in there, that's not factory. And that's not factory job as well. This is original, but that's not original. So there's a lot of lot of work has been undertaken already before this appeared in Dr. Death Hand Thread Surgery. But we're not here to judge, we're just here to fix. Let's get this out to see what kind of workmanship it is inside. Not here to judge, but we'll just um, we'll have a look at what he's done. Him or her, or that whoever was working on it. I don't know. I see. Yes, that's rough. That's rough there. Somebody's done a bit of spot welding and. See one of them's let go there, and somebody's done a little spot welding, and that is held. Yes, I don't know these brand of cells. They're original there, 
but somebody's been here and that they're still holding that side somebody's done a little bit of spot welding there and somebody's done a little bit of number of a spot welding there so it's, it's somebody's been here before I don't recognize these other cells but look at what they are um, we have no way of knowing what what ampere this battery was originally but it certainly was not a 3 ampere because these purple cells are 15 ohms which is if they were all the same that would make this a 3 ampere battery which is not that good I think there's been some shenanigans has gone on here I think somebody's took them from another maybe older battery or something I don't know what's exactly how exactly achieved this configuration but anyway we can see what he's done anyway right we're going to check this pack to see what uh, the volts of the banks of cells are 3.47 so this red bank is very good that's where you'd want it to be there's almost nothing in that any less than there would be nothing that one there's very 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 low and that one there is also very very low and that one is kaput so three very low bad banks of cells one completely kaput bank of cells and one good so that battery if I was to fix that it'll be a full rebuild I'm not sure I want to do that there's there's only anything I do to that battery can only improve it but it is if you've eight bad cells like that it's kind of time to admit defeat and the fact that somebody else has been in here before just makes me think no this is not this is not one that I want to bring back I'll discuss it with the guy that owns it and say to him and ask him where he got that battery and who'd been working at it because it certainly was my work I'm not slagging off the work but it's certainly not mine and I wonder do these red cells match the match these two well enough because I try and put on the same amper of cells anyway I'm not going to fix that one so that one definitely is kaput Dr. Left Hand Thread pronounces this patient dead so if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my videos.